Welcome everyone to my channel Saskiano. With UMD. Do you want to know how to paint animated brush strokes in After Effects? Then you are in the right place to be. Let's start our tutorial. In this tutorial, I am using the project file. Paintbrush strokes. You will find this project file with the media associated with this tutorial. Just double click to open it in After Effects. We're going to create a painted brush stroke to reveal this cassette graphic onto the wall. In essence, painting it into the scene. And we're going to use that same stroke again on the background, adding a little more visual interest to the reveal. So in the timeline, I want you to select layer 2. Which is our cassette layer and press Ctrl D on Windows or Command D on the Mac to duplicate. Then turn off the visibility of layer 2 or duplicate layer and double-click on layer 3 to open it in the layers panel. Not a paint let's switch to the paint workspace. I will click on the double arrows and change it to paint. Once in paint, I'll go up to the upper left and in my tool panel. I will grab the paintbrush tool. Then I'll come back over paint here. And click on this top ship to make sure I have this nice purple blue color selected. And then I will click OK. Then we can come down to the brushes area. And then in the brushes, I want you to go ahead and change the diameter. So I'll click on the diameter. And I want you to choose 280 for the size of the diameter. And if you scroll down here a little bit and make the timeline a little smaller. Under around this, I want to bring the round setting to around 80. So now it's more of an oval. And we can leave the hardness set to zero. Then last but not least under paint. I want the duration set to write on. That we'll record the speed at which I'm actually painting the brush strokes. Now before we start painting the brush strokes, let's position our current time indicator to frame zero. Since that'll be where the brush strokes will start. Now click and drag to paint directly over top of the cassette tape, as fast as you can. Here we go. So if I select layer 3 and press PP on my keyboard, that will open up the paint effect, and it's a brush stroke. So if I open up brush 1 here, You'll notice it actually animates in over 6.5 seconds. I want to change that. So I will select layer 3. And I want you to press the U key on your keyboard. To reveal any animated properties. And click on the second keyframe. And drag it all the way to about 1 second in the timeline. Now if I press the space bar. Here you'll see there's my brush stroke. Now press the space bar to stop playback. Because I want you to collapse the paint option in the timeline and open it up again. In for paint on transparent, I want to change it from off to on. So now if we look at layer 3 and solo that layer by clicking the solo button here, you'll see it's actually just animating only the brush stroke, which is just what we want. But I want this brush stroke to be the fill for the cassette tape. So I will toggle my switches and modes. And go over the track mat. And click on the drop down. And choose alpha mat. To set to. And so now as I scrub through. You can see the paint strokes are actually revealing the cassette tape. Now let's turn off solo for the cassette layer and change its blend mode from normal to linear light. And you can see it's definitely blending with the background a little bit. Now I want to collapse layer 3. And we'll add one more layer of paint in here. So I will select layer 3 and press Ctrl D on Windows or Command D on the Mac. And we'll go to cassette 3 which is the new duplicate layer and changes track mat to none. 
and let's position cassette 3 just above the spatter layer. And I'll press T to open the opacity. And we'll bring that sitting down to around 30%. And now I want the cassette to animate in a second. So if we scrub, you'll notice they're both animating at the same time. So I will select layer 3. And I'll move it down the timeline just a little bit. So now we actually have this pink purple layer animate in. And then we have the cassette actually animate into the scene. Here we go we are done for today, don't forget to sub, like, share, and leave your comment down below in the comment section. See you next time, goodbye.